everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's see how we can configure work cylinders in Odoo 14 manufacturing in community. So in the manufacturing industry there may be different and distinct places uh, in the product uh, manufacturing process. So each process will require separate protocols as multiple types of equipment are required to process them. So it is really important to set multiple physical spaces for a specific process. So work center in manufacturing industry is a place where specific processes takes place. Okay, now after installing a manufacturing module, uh, when you open it and when you go to configuration, configuration settings there we can find option a feature to enable that is allow uh, allows us to manage create and manage work orders so work orders are actually processes or operations uh, done at specific work centers in order to manufacture a product so here when you enable the option we can Define work centers that is physical locations to manufacture to process operations. So directly from here we can configure work centers or after enabling this option we can come under configuration and from here we can manage work centers. Okay, now let's uh, open work centers configuration. So here we can see there are three work centers created like assembly line 1, drill station 1 and assembly line 2. So from here we can create new work center. Drill station 2. Then here we can set alternative work center for uh, this work center. So this is really helpful because we can avoid uh, loss of productive time. If our work center drill station 2 is busy with some work orders, we can uh, use this alternative work center to process operations. So it can be used, uh, that is it can be substituted to this one in order to dis dispatch production. Okay, so here I can set station 1 as my alternative work center for this little station 2 then we can set a code for code for this work center then working hour that is working schedule of this work center so you can see uh, by default it is set as standard 40 hours per work per week then we can set the company okay so here we can see the working hours then here we can see some details that is general information related to work center. Or we can set production information. So this one is really important. Here we can set time efficiency in percentage for the work center. Then capacity of work center. Number of uh, total number of quantities that can be manufactured or processed. Then we can also set an overall equipment effectiveness target in percentage. Then here we can set time before production that is required for setting uh, the work center. Then time after production that is for cleaning after production. Then we can also set cost per hour for this work center. So here I can set the rupees as cost per hour, hour for the work center. Then a short description for the work center can be provided here. Okay, that is what are the processes done at this work center. Then after that you can save the work center. And this can be used for processing that is manufacturing product. Okay, so here uh, we can view bill of materials. So inside bill of material we can configure work center 
or while manufacturing a product there we can add operations and set work centers okay then here we can see some that is operations that is we can define operations create and manage operations manufacturing product so you can see uh, creative operations okay so if you open manufacturing order and create new operation sorry work manufacturing order okay if i choose a product wood panel here you can see the bill of material added mm, and if you have defined work orders inside the bill of material that also can be seen here so here we can add work orders for manufacturing this product so directly from here we can add operation then here we can see our work center uh, that we have recently created that is drill station, drill station 2 then we can set schedule start date for manufacturing that is for processing this operation then we can set expected duration and again you can add multiple work orders from here and can save and confirm this manufacturing order so after confirmation you can start processing the operation from the, at the work center so we have done a separate video explaining uh, about managing manufacturing orders in order 14 community so you can check that okay so you can see real duration started now we can done, mark it as done and mark as done that is mark manufacturing orders done okay so that's how we make use of work centers to manufacture product and here we can also view the work orders so by default it is filtered by uh, work orders in progress ready or pending so you can see one uh, work center is ready for uh, performing the operation as then coming back to our work centers okay then here we can see the total performance of work center in percentage then the uh, overall equipment effectiveness which is calculated by adding fully productive time to get uh, all together and dividing it by overall equipment efficiency and then multiplying it with uh, 100 you get overall effectiveness uh, equipment effectiveness in percentage so we can all see graph view pivot view and this view okay now it is 100 percentage because no loss and there is no failure or extra time taken to manufacture so you can see uh, it is fully productive time then we can see the lowest hours if you have lost uh, time that is if there are any failures you can see the lowest hours from here then the total time that is load okay so that's how we create a work center and manufacture products.